What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the likes, subscribes, and shares, and comment, um, and love to my channel. Not so much comments because we have comment thread turned off right now, except for live because of harassment and bullying of my subscribers. Um, but I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 05. The links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate for privacy and confidentiality purposes, just to let everybody know. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I'm big incorporating music into my uh, readings now when I get channel messages and other readings. So um, I've got um, what is on right now on the playlist is Got No Shame by Brother Kane. Got No Shame by Brother Kane. That is currently what's on the playlist right now. Um, so hopefully that helps somebody with confirmation or something of that nature or not. But, um, it's a new little thing I've incorporated into my readings. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Of course you can, um, everybody that's been on my channel a minute and for the newbies just joining, you're always welcome to text me or contact me. My contact information is in the description box below. Um, I get contact from my subscribers all the time. So feedback is always greatly appreciated. All right, you guys. So. The channel, I did get several channeled, as I told you when I did the daily tea earlier today. So, um, I got this one particular channeling, so I'm going to share it, and then we'll pull some cards and um, see if we can get anything else better for it, okay? All right. So, the channel message I received was, um, a water sign is trying very, very, very hard to hide, um, I heard reader, I heard reader, reader's channel, hide, to hide a reader's channel. Um, from many other people, but it's about to backfire in a huge way. Um, this uh, channel is about to get lots and 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 lots, lots of exposure. I heard it was like eight or nine or ten lots. So it was a lot, it was a lot of exposure. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. I, I, I cannot hear, son. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, so um, you plug it in how it resonates. So um, a water sign, I've been pulling in negative water sign energy in here. Um, now I'm not saying, uh, if you're a water sign and you watch my videos, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you are a positive water sign and you do not resonate as the negative water sign energy, then you do not resonate, okay? Um, it's just some body out in the universe that's trying to block, some, either I feel for one of you guys, you're, you're a tarot card reader. And a water sign is trying to um, block your channel. So I don't want you to get offended if, you know, you're a water sign and you're like, oh, she always talks about negative water sign energy recently. That's just what I've been pulling in in my energetic spaces in my readings. If you are not a negative water sign energy, then you're not, okay? I, so please don't get offended if you are a positive water sign putting positive out in the universe, okay? You have to plug yourself in where you fit. As I stayed on all my readings, don't... Um, Free general reading, um, if it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general reading. So if you don't resonate, you don't resonate. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do, okay? Touch, Pill and Stand is on by Days of the New. Touch, Pill and Stand by Days of the New. Okay, so I heard a um, particular water sign is um, trying to block your channel. You're a tarot card reader, whoever you are. Now, you could do... Um, visions, you can, you can do clear audience, clairvoyance, clear sentience, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape channel. I mean, there's many different, there's a million, not a million, there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of readers out there, thousands. And a lot of people do it different ways. Some, they uh, do vision channels, share their visions. Some, they share their, do clear audience, like mine is mainly clear audience, mixed in with some clairvoyance and some dreamscape. Some do strictly dreamscape channels. Some, everybody does it different ways is what I'm trying to say. So um, whoever this reader is, if you are the reader, they're trying to block with your channel. Just for real, for real. Um, but they're trying to block your channel. You're trying to block it and um, they're trying to block it good. So um, just saying, just saying. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay. All right, you guys. But it's a water sign energy, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. 
but I've heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way and you're basically about to get a ton of exposure. So it's not going to work anyways. It's not going to work and they're about to get a ton of exposure. So, I mean, you have to plug in your life however it resonates, if that resonates for you, um, if it does. So it's going to energetically backfire on them, basically. It's going to energetically backfire. And, and it serves them right because they're putting negative out in the universe. Well, they're putting negative out in the universe. Well, what do they expect if they always put negative out in the universe? Eventually, negative doesn't, usually doesn't always come back to you immediately. Sometimes it takes a month, sometimes a year, sometimes years, but it does come back. I mean, energetically, it makes sense with the law of physics. It makes sense that it will energetically come back. And that's what it sounds like it's about to happen. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Acceptance upright, number four, could be a very significant number in one's life, number four. That could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, uh, a child of yours or somebody you're, a child you're connected to, possibly. It could be a date of birth number, possible social security card number, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, number four. Acceptance upright. Some of these water signs are about to lose their jobs. Some, their business is about to tank down in a very huge way. They're about to learn a very good lesson. Okay, I heard some of these water signs, um, they're trying to block your tarot card reading business, whoever you are. And I heard specifically tarot card reading business. I've had a lot of business owner energy in here recently, a lot. Um, but this is specifically for a tar tarot card reader. So you tarot card reader, if somebody, if you feel somebody's trying to block your business or you know somebody's trying to block your business, this is for you. Um, but I heard basically um, some of these water signs, I heard they're about to lose their job soon and some they are about to um, um, uh, uh, decrease, uh, experience a huge decrease in their business. So I didn't hear what kind of business. Um, I didn't hear what kind of business. For some, it's a water sign. For some, it's a fire sign. For some, it's both. Trying to block your business. Okay, I heard for some of you guys it's a water sign, for some it's a fire sign, and for some it's both trying to block your business. So for some it's a water sign trying to block your business. Aries Leo, I'm sorry, a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Masculine or Femme, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They can have Cancer Pisces or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter. For some it's a fire sign, Aries Leo, Sag. They can have Aries Leo, Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter. Masculine or Femme, Aries Leo, Sag. Um, but for some of them, I heard they're about to um, lose their job. For some, they're about to de experience a um, decrease in their own business. So they own some kind of business. So I think they're about to have to accept. Um, they don't want your business to do good. I don't think they want you to get views. I don't think they want your name out there. I don't think they want your abilities displayed to the universe. I think they want to. And obviously, they watch you. They watch you, obviously. So, But they want to watch you. They want to watch you and stalk you privately as a little subscriber where whoever you are doesn't even know who they are. They're just a blip in your business. Um, you don't know who they are because for some, you could have 2,000 subscribers, some 20,000, some 200,000 subscribers, some 2 million, whoever you are. But you don't know who, I mean, for some, you might know who it is. But what I'm saying is I feel for a lot of them, they're just watching, watching, watching. So it's just a subscriber on your end you don't know specifically because I know on my end, we don't see who pulls up, who watches unless we do the live and they comment on the chat. You can't see. And if somebody subscribes to your channel, they can make their subscription private, meaning on your end as a creator, me, my end, if you subscribe to my channel, you can make it private and I would never know that, yes, you are a subscriber, but I don't know who you are, if that makes sense. So, I mean, they're doing it in a very sneaky, manipulative way. I think they're obviously stalking your channel. Um, I heard a channel. So, it's either on YouTube or some other um, platform that does channels in some shape, form, or fashion. I know YouTube obviously does channels, but there's other platforms that do channels as well. You have to plug it in how it resonates. They're about to have to accept this. Their negative actions in the past are about to boomerang on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard they're about to have to accept this. Their ne negative actions in the past are about to boomerang on them 
energetically in the universe in a huge way. So acceptance upright. So they're about to have to accept the fact that, because I heard you're about to get lots and lots and lots of exposure. So um, it sounds like your um, view times are is about to tick up. People are about, maybe they're about to talk about your channel in a positive way and get more people. Like there might be more searches to your channel. There might be more view count. There might be more, um, or something of that nature. Um, I think people are about to talk about it in a positive way and it's about to piss them off, but they're going to have to accept it because they took so much negative out to you and the universe in the past. And this is their form of, this is the third time it showed, showed up on the bottom of the deck, triple confirmation. They're going to have to accept it, I heard. They want to keep you blocked off, but it's about to boomerang back. You're about to get so much exposure in a positive way. Okay, I heard they want to keep you blocked off to the public, but I heard basically it's about to boomerang back on them in a very, um, a boomerang on you in a positive way. So um, they're going to have to accept that it's about to boomerang back on you in a positive way. Um, your business, Tara Career, whoever you are. Let's pull one card. I think they want to benefit from your channel, um, whoever you are. I think they want to benefit from your channel. Um, and just like very selfish energy. They just want to um, benefit from your channel and they they want to um, suck off you, energy suck off you. That's exactly what I think. We have fear reversed and nourishment reversed. Number 11 can be very significant number in your life. I just heard 1111 as well. And 1111 is basically divine intervention. Um, 1111 is for anybody who doesn't know. Um, so um, Die for you by bring me the horizon is on. Die for you by bring me the horizon. Okay, so um, which I I think goes with this beautifully because somebody is about to put your channel out there in a very positive way. Um, I'm not saying that anybody's going to die for you. I mean, you have to plug in how it resonates. Just saying, but somebody I feels like a ride or die energy, and they're about to not care what the consensus thinks, not care what other people think. They have, they use their own brain. Oh, this could be you, maybe. Maybe you're about to spread a reader's channel out there in a positive way. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. You could either be the reader, you could be the negative fire sign or the water sign trying to block the reader, or you could be the one about to put the, um, um, like a ride or die kind of person, and you use your brain and your head and your own brain cells and your own intuition and your own logic and you're about to go against the brain type energy and really help this reader out possibly you have to plug it in how it resonates so fear reverse i heard 11 11 that's divine intervention i heard that from the spiritual realm so divine intervention here i think there's about to be at least one person about to help you out reader it might be two plus for some of you um that's about to really um have no fear they're about to have no fear and I think they might have been fearful in the past, but they're about to have no fear and um, spread your channel around in a very positive way. It is about to go very, 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 very positively for you. Very. Okay, I heard it's about to go very, 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 very positively for you. Very. So have no fear. Ride or die. Chicka do, chicka do's here. Just saying, just saying, whoever you are. Um, I love those kind of peeps. Just saying, just saying. So, um, yeah, fear, no, no fear, no fear energy. I think if you're the one about to spread this channel around in a very positive way, I think maybe you were fearful in the past and now you're not. And for the one, the reader's channel, whoever you are, maybe you, I feel for some of you guys, you knew your channel was being blocked, but now since you're about to get lots of exposure in a positive way, you will not have any fear. I feel for some, you've been internet gang stalked. I feel you've been internet, internet gang stalked. You have just been harassed and bullied. And now you're either about to have no fear or you, you um, already have no fear. How that resonates. Nourishment reverse. Number seven could be very significant. Could be a possible age of your child or somebody you're connected to your child. A date of birth number. A lottery number. A uh, um, green card number. Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A jersey number. Number seven. Nourishment reverse. This fire sign and water sign is not nourishing to people, and people know this.
Okay. I heard this fire sign and air, uh, not air sign, fire sign and water sign is not nourishing to people. People know this. So they're not nourishing to people. They, they, I think they gossip, they slander, they do negative things. Possible for some of these water signs and fire signs, they could do criminal things, possibly. Um, but um, however that resonates, they're not nourishing to people. They're not, they don't build people up. I feel they pull people down. They definitely pull people down. And it's about to energetically boomerang on back on them in a very negative way. Okay, I heard they definitely pull people down and it's about to energetically backfire on them in a very positive, I'm mean, sorry, very negative way. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Some of these fire signs are in employment situations. Some they are they on their own business. Some it could be both. Um, or co on possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, we're done. Love you guys so much. Hope this helped and namaste.